The following gameplay was recorded over the span of 24 hours on wipe day and it will come to be one of the most insane wipe day experiences of all my rust hours. Alright, fresh wipe. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do, see what we can get up to. Obviously, it's force wipe, so I'm not gonna play on a server where I don't have BPs because that. So I have every BP I'll need. So it should be fun. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay, so where should we build? I want to build close to launch site. So let's make our way over there and see if we can get down a base. The plan right now, I don't really like four swipes, so the plan right now is to get up a level 2 workbench and uh, just start roaming with some guns. Ah! This video was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Fight your way through the dungeon, climb your way to the top of the Doom Tower or fight the millions of real players in Arena. Raid Shadow Legends is a realistic fantasy RPG with hundreds of champions to pick from. And it gets new updates all the time. What I love about Raid is the fact that there's so many ways to enjoy your time. I especially enjoy playing as the Band Lords, as I absolutely love their armor, weapons and their design based on knights of the medieval Europe. And they have a huge kingdom. The Bannerlots are kinda these badass crusade warriors who think of themselves like the good guys. But they are actually consistently in a war with the non-human races. My favorite champion from the Bannerlots so far is definitely Asuri. I've been using him to absolutely crush people in Arena. The fastest way I found to level up your champion is through farming the campaign. From this you will get a lot of XP and a lot of silver. And if you're lucky you'll get a few artifacts as well. Use my link to download Raid to mobile or PC. While I tell you some more about the game. This month Raid's got a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities. We are talking special fusion events to get a brand new legendary champion. Tournaments against other players and much, much more. They are also releasing 5 amazing new champions and each of them look incredible. If you want to help support this channel then please use my link in the description and that will not only help out my channel you will also get a huge head start on everyone else. Because all new players will get an epic champion, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill and 1 ancient shard. Again thank you to Raid for continuing to support my channel. We have a compound bow. Let's just try and get up a base now. I put down the base on top of a mountain in between outpost and launch site. This would give me a safe place to recycle any components and a place where I could find a lot of PvP. Nice, first run. We have a base. That's sick. Okay. Let's go over to launch and see what's up. I'm hearing Bradley, so I know there's people over there. I think they're by the recycler. It might be recycling. Sounds like it. Yes, a sword. You already have a level two. Come on, dude. This was my first taste of what this server had to offer, and who to look out for. That's some pig bullshit. 
right there. They must have gotten the airdrop or something. No way, they already have a level 2. Yeah, they must have gotten that airdrop. That's so unlucky. Let's just do a tunnel run so we can get this thing started. Like, it's so OP tunnels. Like, we'll, we'll have a level 2 in no time if we just have a good tunnel run. Really? I'm getting... How am I getting rads from fucking... Why is there rads in excavator? I've never used excavator, so I didn't know it was rads. I'm gonna fucking die. We were... It's a new tunnel? Ow. Oh, this is already fucked. Fucking beamers. No! I'm down! No! Fuck. I didn't think I was gonna get rads when going down here. You move quite fast when you're down. Okay. We can die here. Yes. Just a big pile. Dead bodies. Interesting that they changed the tunnels. Is there a hundred comfort? Yes, it is. Come on. Okay. Nice. If we can get this to outpost and recycle that, it's gonna be big. Before I go and recycle all of this, I wanna see what I can do with this shotgun. I wanna see if I maybe can find a base to go deep on, or if I just can grab someone at launch. Maybe those Sora guys that I saw earlier. So good. Exactly what we needed. Scrap and metal frags.
Oh. Let's go. Everyone's loaded. This is actually going decent for force wipe. I usually just die on force wipe, end up rage quit, and then start day two. But it's so nice killing people on wipe day. Everyone's so loaded. Like I killed four people now, and now I'm coming home with 250 scrap, a row of stone, half a row of wood. Yeah, like if I go and scrap now, I'm gonna have enough for tier 2. Oh my god. Everyone is so loaded, it's crazy. Yeah, we have enough. We have a tier 2 already. Jesus. We just, for one hour in, we have a tier 2. Everyone haven't even scrapped what we got from uh, train tunnels. This is just by killing people. We need to start cooking up some sulfur. I'm just gonna craft the tier 2 now. Start, start roaming guns. Yeah, let's craft a python. Please, man, I just want a little home. Just solo. Come on. Damn, how you got a python? It's fucking nuts. Don't shoot at me, don't shoot at me. Look, we're gonna be controlling this server. We're zerging. Don't kill me, okay? We're gonna- Ah, you fucking piece of shit! Oh, he- <laughs> He was gonna say, oh, he had a python. Kill the idiot. Ooh, let's have a go. Yeah, I'm with that street lamp guy. I don't want to have to raid you later on in the white. We're like 14 deep already. I, mean, I wouldn't that's, advise killing. That's literally him. how it's you get killed. Your mental health. Not good. F that's that's literally how you get one banged. This was my first encounter with the neighbors, who we will call the Boastful Clan, and they will actually be one of the main enemies of this story.
Fuck. Okay, I think this is my time to log off. It's pretty late, so... I just wanted to get a start today, and... <laughs> I'd say we did, so... First thing in the morning tomorrow... We're gonna go recycle. We're gonna try and get up the base. And I don't wanna build a good base design. Because what I've realized is... If you build a good base design, you never get raided. Because I never get raided. And I build sick base designs. For this wipe, I'm gonna build a shitty base design. And hopefully we can get raided. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. I'm still here. And so, our first day on the server comes to a close. Now for day two. I logged on early in the morning so I could try and get some farming done. Come on. Let's go, <laughs> we're not raided. Okay. Uh... Let's go recycle. I headed over to Outpost where I recycled all the components I would gotten yesterday. Let's craft the saw. Let's see if we can get our red card. Fuck off. Fuck off. So annoying. What the? Arbor door? <laughs> what? Bro, it's so hard getting blue cards on the server. Like, this, the only way to put, get blue cards is harbors. And there's only two harbors at the edge of the map, and I live here. So it's so far for me to go. I still don't understand where the naked guy got this armor door from. I have no idea where he could have gotten that from. The boastful clan started door camping me.
<laughs> that was embarrassing. Oh. My screen is just red. It's so annoying. Kept patrolling around the area, killing anyone I came across. Then I headed over to Airfield to get the red card. I forgot there were scientists down here now. I wanna try and get up a level 3 workbench before everyone starts to log in. It's still pretty early on in the morning, so I'm hoping that I can get that done before everyone starts to log in. Because today I wanna do like a small raid. And so I headed down into the tunnels to get enough scrap for a level 3 workbench. I love this new entrance. So nice. This should be enough, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure this is enough. For a tier 3. Now we're so close. Shit. I don't care about this stuff. If I can get heli, that would be fucking nuts. I don't think they have AKs because it, heli was out for a while. So they might have taken it down with like semis and stuff. And then I have a chance. But if they have AKs and bolts, it's gonna be tough. Fuck! Oh, I thought I was lucky in that there was only one. Shit. I'm gonna run back. I quickly geared up and ran back. A little win. We didn't get the heli loot, but we'll get MP5.
I'll trade a SAR for an MP5 any day. And a holo site. Oh, it's not a holo site, but I can craft a holo. What the fuck? They started hearing a big raid in the distance. That has to be the guys that took Kelly. They have to get got them. Yeah, that's the people that took Kelly. What pace is that? Hopefully there's still only two of them. Fuck! It's three of them. I quickly ran back to see if I can get some leftovers. I grabbed an inventory of whatever I could get my hands on, and then I quickly made my escape. Big. Huge. Could have probably grabbed more, but I don't want to be greedy. They could come back at any moment. On my way home after grabbing another inventory, I read by their boastful clan space. I really wanted to fuck with them. So when I got home I grabbed a DB and went over to do exactly what they did to me. I don't think you know what happens when you dark camp an 8 man, especially when they know where you live. You're getting raided, bud. I know where you live. That's fine. I wanna get raided. These threats of a raid didn't face me that much. Because as I said in the beginning, I wanted to get raided. But I did have a feeling that he meant an offline raid. But I don't think this guy understands who he said that to. Because I'm part of the small percent of Rust players who will do whatever it takes to not lose his base. And if that means staying up all night just to defend my base, I will do that. Can't get offline raided if you're never offline. I built up a small flank base. So this is where you start all the loot. That's nice, you know. We'll just trade both, it's good. We don't want to raid yet, but kinda of given us no choice. So that's pretty lit. Like I said, I don't think these guys are built for online raids. You get him raided. Opinion on getting raided. It's a nice shotgun trap, by the way. I love raiding people who dark out because they're not good at the game. I mean, you dark out me first, didn't you? No. Mm. 
Yes. I did. I did some more upgrades to the base so that when I got raided, I could defend it. And the boastful clan just wouldn't stop door camping me. I added a bedroom on the second floor where I could stash a few guns. Then when I was out roaming, I ran into the boastful clan again. I had died, but there was no way in hell I was gonna let these guys get the best of me. I really wanted to get enough scrap for a level 3 workbench, so when I got home I grabbed a sheep kit and went out and hit some barrels. I met this guy in a heli. His friend that invited me to the team, and that's when I realized this was the group I'd fought at launch site and that I fought over heli. So, I decided to just fuck with them.
After this, I did some very necessary base upgrades. Right at me. Oh, come. Follow me. Come. Come on. <laughs> I headed over to Launchite to do the puzzle. But I had no idea what I was walking into. Come on, I need to stand up. I have to. Where's the gun? Oh my god, they just made the sickest play I, I think I've ever made. Okay, can you guys tell? This is a complete black screen. Oh, what is this? You can't see anything. It's completely black. Oh, he is mad. He is so mad. The salt. The fucking salt. I love the new calling system. I love it. <laughs> I love the new calling system. Anyone who's just this bad just hasn't have had it on their side yet. It's great. Okay, it's the best feature ever. 
I'm gonna go back and look for the AK. I would quit if I was them, to be honest. <laughs> like, that's... Uh, that's just... Oof. That's a bit of a jikes. A bit of a jikes on their part. Bro, that was so much I didn't grab. I couldn't. It was full inventory. And also I saw the empty and I was like, nah, nah, nah. We're dipping. We're hard dipping. Yep, they didn't come back. Thought so. Here we go. Now at this point, I had a feeling they had rage quit. But I was sorely mistaken. Because they were not having any of it. And they were coming to reclaim their M249. Someone destroyed all my disco lights. Why? I hadn't seen their base since yesterday. So I went over there to take a look and see what we were working with. Oh, they beefed their base up. But as I was over here checking out their base, they were making their way to my base. I like I hate this server because it's been foggy all day. I mean, I took a break. It might have been clear then, but please. Am I getting raided? Oh, I'm getting raided. And it's defended. <laughs> oh, got uh, four rockets, four C4, under explosive ammo. <laughs> so I defended my base from getting raided with some big help from my shotgun trap. The people who raided me were the same people who I'd stole the M2 from. And now, they had just given me a bunch of explosives. Now, it wasn't enough to raid them back. But, I had another group in mind. The Boastful Clan. Their base was unfinished, so I would definitely have enough to raid them. And I'd seen them online just as the raid started. So, I grabbed all the rockets and C4s and ran over to raid them. I don't want to have to raid you later on in the white, we're like 14 deep already. Like this is the most insane, for even if I fail, this is the most insane force wipe I have ever had. Like I, I need to play more force wipe. I usually just ban it off and take a break for a couple of days. This is where every force wipe goes. I need to play more.
so gonna be a shotgun trap. We were on last floor. I'm not risking it. Uh, that's the here's the thing. I'm not. Uh, fuck that. I'm. I'm not dying to a shotgun trap. that long ago they told me that they were gonna raid me now look look who's raided actually quite low there as well I'm getting raided again no way Need to secure this. Come on, man. <laughs> secure it. Okay, it's secure. Let's go! We need to go save our base! <laughs> Two dead? All dead. Okay, we need to grab this and we need to secure the base. And I got another M2. So yeah, that just happened. I had now been on the server for exactly 26 hours. And I have now defended my base twice from getting raided. And I managed to get rid of my neighbors. And so, this story ends. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I for sure had a lot of fun making it. But these videos do take a long time to make, so if you enjoy my videos then make sure that you subscribe. 
Also, join my Discord server, here you can find people to play Rust with. I'm also very active over there, so if you have any questions, you can ask them there. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.